Hi, I'm Jay Ray. I'm out here in front of my 2003 Dodge Ram. I got the 5.9 Cummins. And uh, I was researching around and the question was brought up. Do you have to change out your entire fuel injector if you're having a problem with your truck? And my answer, at least for me, was no. You don't have to change the entire fuel injector. You can change out one of these little guys. The fuel injector firing solenoid. And that might solve your problem if you're having a problem like I had. Uh, now what my issue was is I was driving along and my truck started stuttering. Uh, I got a check engine light came on and I was pulling my fifth wheel and so I needed my truck to be running good. But uh, it got worse and worse as I drove along. Uh, I started stuttering more and then the truck kind of went into limp mode. And what uh, happened when I was able to check the codes, I had a P205 and a P2149 codes. And what that pointed to was my number five fuel injector was having the issue. And it said that the circuit was shorted or open. So after doing some research, I found that, uh, you know, a full set of injectors cost somewhere around $3,000 just to get the injectors. That doesn't include labor, so you'd have to do the work yourself. So to change out all your injectors costs anywhere from $3,000, $5,000 probably, uh, change all your fuel injectors. I did a bunch of research online found out you don't have to change all your fuel injectors um, you can change just one fuel injector if you're having a problem with just one fuel injector because these things are pretty robust uh, they work for a long time um, you know as long as you're not having an issue with the several fuel injectors uh, just changing out one should be acceptable but uh, in my case I didn't need the whole fuel injector um, I just wanted to try this out I found these on Amazon and also on eBay they sell these fuel injector firing solenoids. Now, some people suggest not to do this, um, and I only saw one blog on a Cummins forum that uh, showed it, that a guy changed out his firing solenoid and uh, got his truck back up and running and said he was getting over 20 miles a gallon after doing that. But uh, I'm not quite getting that good of fuel mileage, but I've got a four wheel drive, um, long bed, uh, Cummins here. Pretty nice. I really like this truck, but uh, anyway, back to the issue. Once I uh, got the new parts in, I took a valve cover off, and underneath the valve cover, I saw one of the wires was loose on the number five solenoid, and this is the reason right here. As you can see, that bolt is kind of eating away on that uh, one side there. Yeah. Both of them should be the same. Uh, if you're having the same problem that I had, uh, then buying one of these off either Amazon or eBay could fix your issue. Now, it only took me about an hour to do this work, and it ended up costing me about $35 to solve this issue that normally costs people anywhere between $1,000 and $5,000 to repair. So, if you're like me, you're do-it-yourself kind of guy, and uh, whatever the case may be, and uh, you want to save yourself a little bit of money on 5.9 Cummins. Uh, if you're having the same issue that I had where your uh, injector truck was running good and it just started stuttering and you had an open or shorted circuit, you may be able to use one of these injector firing solenoids and get your truck back up and running. And like I said, it took me about an hour. It cost me about 35 bucks to do it, and now it's running good. Um,